Regardless of the measures you take to stop slipping into a difficult position, there are strong odds that disaster will somehow find a path to you. You have to learn how to protect yourself should you find yourself cornered. The aim of self-defense preparedness is to integrate resources and defensive measures into your everyday life without causing a state of constant fear. Having said that, always being prepared is worth the commitment. Save your shooting weapons and your Hattori Hanzo blade for the living room show, as your self-defense weapon set will be easy to bear and non-lethal. The best methods of self-defense mentioned below are discreet and have proven to operate. It takes time, as with any tool, to know how to use it. These days, YouTube has videos on everything. If you'd want to get into the form of Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse, take a nearby self-defense lesson and display no fear. The nonverbal signals of confidence go a long way. You don't have to take a class of martial arts or anything for your safety. There are several ways you can defend yourself during an assault. The use of a strong weapon is one of the methods. So with what arms would you spend with self-defense? I'm your host, Bo Matthews, as we count down the top 10 self-defense gadgets you should have. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new content. Number 10 goes to Pocket Knife. If you're a guy or a woman, a pocket knife is the first and most valuable tool to invest in. Knives are useful and can be used for several purposes. Say for instance, you may rely on this resource for your survival while out there in the forest. The same knife can be used for your safety out here on the road. It has not got to be a large knife. You do need a tiny blade which is simple to use and which can easily inflict casualties on your assailants. Finding with a knife is not something to be achieved lightly. If you learn how to use it in a war, it can be useful. Yeah, if you've done any work, it will benefit a lot. Remember, you can cause your attacker when you remove the knife to use some other lethal tool he or she may have, such as a pistol. And any time you find yourself cornered, you have to be alert. Nine on our log is pepper spray. If using a knife is not your cup of tea in the morning, then you ought to find the next choice, which is pepper spray. Pepper spray is one of the most commonly employed methods in non-lethal self-defense. A stream of oleoresin capsicum, spicy oil derived from hot peppers, fires at the arm. Did you cut pepper while frying and then unintentionally rub your eyes? How did the encounter turn out? It's of course one thing you wouldn't have expected. Now picture spraying with a stream which is condensed 10 times. Yeah, this is roughly how many pepper sprays there are. The positive thing about using pepper spray that it's only instantaneous. It reaches the head, nose, throat, and lungs, leaving the perpetrator with no alternative but to live in considerable discomfort. The horrible encounter will allow you plenty of time to run or even assault the perpetrator as he or she can barely see. Eighth position goes to stun guns. The large odds are you've seen stun guns at work, like in a movie or in a shooting display. The atmosphere doesn't matter. The reality is that you will own these weapons as well as push the intruder with an electric shock. Typically, the electroshock guns use millions of volts of electricity to scare off the intruder. Usually such weapons are noisy and light, and you can also scare the intruder away without using it on them. No one wants to be electrocuted after all. You shouldn't be scared of the several volts when using a stun gun, because it could destroy the assailant. They cannot be adversely harmed by it. Now that you realize you can own your own stun gun, you'll need to suggest having one. The problem is, what is the best stun tool for having the job done? The market today is packed with many choices, so it can prove challenging to pick. When it comes to using a stun gun, you must keep in mind that for it to be successful, it must be powered so you always have to price it to prevent disappointments at the time you need. Seventh on the log is flashlights. Fighting with a knife is not something to be achieved lightly. If you learn how to use it in a war, it can be useful. Yeah, if you've done any work, it will benefit a lot. Remember, you can use your attacker when you remove the knife to use some other lethal tool he or she may have, such as a pistol and any time you find yourself cornered, you have to be alert. Flashlights are also used during the night, for example, when you witness an outage. Still, do you know that they can use the same flashlights as a weapon? Yeah, most flashlights come with heavyweight metal frame style and are heavyweight, which makes them a great weapon if you are in threat. 
Some flashlights also have a function enabling you to temporarily blind your foe, buying you enough opportunity to run. If you aim a bright spotlight on the face of the assailant, he or she may lose focus. This may give you the chance to run away for your precious life. There are even a few flashlights with a stun gun option, so you can look into that too. Sixth place goes to Lipstick Stun Gun. A stunned lipstick pistol does not come with a real piece of lipstick to place on your mouth, but it appears just like one. No one would even know that this bottle is a fake lipstick. You may conveniently place the lipstick stun gun within your purse, pocket, or some other form of product. This stun gun often comes with a flashlight that comes in handy when you're driving during the hours of the evening. The stun gun comes with two separate keys, one for the spotlight and one for the stun weapon. The stun gun also comes with a power charging cord to recharge the system as necessary. Coming up on number five is tactical pin. Who says you had to bring large things around for self-defense? No one, of course. Today you should rely on a defensive pin to tackle the intruder. Tactical pins are multifunctional in that they can be used as writing devices and at the same time double as self-protection weapons. Typically they are thin and simple to bear. Your attacker can hardly see them as a tool. Many of them have sharp points that can be used to kill an intruder while some can be used to deliver a hit. In the real world, where cases of fear are on the rise, self-defense is imperative. There are some of the best and simple to use legal guns mentioned in this article that you can use for self-defense. Occupying the fourth position is keychain knuckles. The goal is to make self-defense available while not thinking about what could happen. Head out on a warm weather run or nighttime dog walk with your music and keys, just realizing you're going to be safe if you're headed into the wrong place. The Brutus Bulldog Self-Defense Knuckle Arm is dressed as a bulldog keychain and is a spiked belt going around the knuckles, designed to hit an oncoming attacker and pierce the fur. The plastic shaped with ABS is known to be unbreakable. Cat dog ear arms are not permissible in states where brass knuckles are not permitted. Third place goes to horn. We really don't laugh. Get a spark. This small horn, noticeable about a half mile away, sits in your car door. It's only four and three quarter inches tall and is extremely bright. The noise may make an aggressor startle and make them run. Sabre says the warning often decreases the likelihood of hiking and camping bear assaults and that frequent explosions will warn bears that you are in the forest, thus reducing violent surprise behavior. A quick to use button makes it fast to fire. Second on the list is Biker Whip. Indiana Jones had the right notion to hold a pistol. This rapid strike Biker Whip's non-lethal attacking power has been built for simple, convenient usage and most importantly, it's lightweight to hold and convenient to camouflage. Few guys wear it on their denim like a buckle. Attaining 17 inches long, this whip was influenced by the motorcyclist self-defense whips. The lightweight stainless steel whip is hard enough to crack glass and enough malleable to curl in a pocket. Honestly, we prefer that to a gnarly baton that might inflict irreparable harm if used inappropriately. On number one is CHF 50 foot handle. The blade of this handy self-defines tool is just three centimeters thick, but that does not render it any less incredible because of the high carbon chrome plates of stainless steel that this push decker allows it possible to execute several functions perfectly due to the special T-shaped handle. It is easy to keep the knife in your fist while using the blade between your fingers to self-defend. The structure and design of the hand stops the blade from falling in the rain or because of the sweat. The knife's compact scale and its lightweight of 27 grams enables you to wear it as a key ring or collar brace. 